Mizuma TV back in the building, man. What's going on, y'all? Shout out to Mizuma Nation. Shout out to the Mizuma Mob. We in the building as always, man. I hope everybody's having a blessed, beautiful, positive, productive day. On my way to go get it as always, man. I hope y'all doing the same. On the road to 1K, man. We almost there. We almost there. I think I believe. I believe we need like like 70 something more you know what i'm saying that we gonna smash that record that's what the nation do and that we gonna keep stomping shit you know what i'm saying but um i, I appreciate everybody who been tuning in on the lives man if y'all ain't see that live last night go check it out that was probably one of the realest lives uh where i opened up we really got to talking about life boxing all that stuff man if y'all haven't seen it go check it out uh what i want to talk about today is my assessment of the Jamel Charlo and Canelo Alvarez final press conference. They got that shit in yesterday. Um, and it, it it was pretty much more of the same from Jamel Charlo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, taking the humble approach. Attempting to do this whole rebrand, man. If y'all been following Jamel Charlo, he's always been the one who's been extremely emotional, in my opinion. Like Tony Harrison said, you emotional. You emotional. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Emotional, upbeat, energetic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you want to call me passionate, so be it. Um, cursing guys out. You know what I mean? Just being, just, just being like gritty against his opponents, like uh, being real cool with speaking his mind, all that good shit. But against Canelo Alvarez, he's been real reserved. He's been real reserved, been real respectful, um, which I kind of anticipated. If you watch my previous videos. You know what I'm saying? I kind of expected him to do that because um, he always said, like, little slick shit about Canelo here and there. But for the most part, you could tell, like, he low-key looked up to him. And he admitted it in interviews. You know what I'm saying? He admitted it. He said that, like, he he idolized Canelo, which is insane to me because at one particular time, y'all was supposed to fight, like, like around a decade ago. So because this man moved up two weight classes, all of a sudden, you the biggest fan of him. It's like... That's kind of weird to me. You know what I'm saying? But regardless, that's what Jamel Charlo said. That came out of his mouth. You know what I'm saying? And you could tell that he still looks at Canelo in that light because of the way he's approaching him. He done told Tim Zhu all types of wild shit. Um, guys who's not even in his weight class. Uh, Gervonta Davis talked crazy to him. Adrian Broner talked crazy to him. Jared Hurd talked crazy to him. Um, um, who else? Of course, Tony Harrison. A few he had with Tony Harrison. I find it funny that that the people who share the, skin, the same skin complexion as him, he got no problem. He has no problem. Um, he has no problem shitting on the guys who are on the same skin color as him. I mean, besides Tim Zoo, you know what I mean. But um, when it comes to somebody who look like they got the complexion for the protection, all of a sudden you want to fall back and do this whole rebrand. That shit don't really make any type of sense to me. Um, and during this final press conference, look at this dude. Look at this dude. Look at this. Look at him. Fucking, this shit crazy out here. But anyway, this, this Kensington Beach for you. You know what I'm saying? This shit is his own different world for Philly. Look, 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 look. Fucking distractions. But anyway, um, looking at this final press conference, man. You could tell that Canelo was fucking irritated. You could tell that he's completely locked in. Um, he's focused. And it's fight week, you know what I mean? And when it comes to fight week, man, I've, I've experienced this on several occasions, um, especially when I was doing my thing in the amateurs and stuff like that. you just eager to fight, man. You could tell that's the mode that Canelo's in, man. You could tell he put in a lot of work this camp. He's been extremely motivated. It seemed like he got a chip on his shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Because of all the, and he made it clear was motivating him was the disrespect that Jamel and his brother had been putting on his name for these past few years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he said, "Oh, they disrespect my skills, so so I'm gonna show them uh, September 30th. I'm going to show them my skills, and they they will see something special." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He talking crazy like that. And Jamel just sitting there all smiling, happy to be in the moment ass nigga. I'm like, oh my God. And then like he uh Canelo opened the floor for like several times to argue. You know what I'm saying? He said, whatever animal you want me to be, that's wh whatever could beat the lion, that's me. You know what I'm saying? And Jamel could have been like, man, fuck out of here. You can't beat me. Like he could have easily took that approach, but he just wouldn't bite on it. You could tell Canelo was in that type of mood where he wanted to talk shit, but he wasn't going to really push it. You know what I mean? But he left it out there. 
he left the option out there to to to, to clap back, but Jamel just wouldn't bite on it. You know what I'm saying? And that that's like that's a bad sign to me. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully this is like a a, a tactic he using to make it seem like he uh like he trying to keep Canelo like off guard, not anticipating his next move type shit. But regardless, man, it's like. Come on, dog. Why your energy switch up for the biggest fight of your career? Why why is your energy not consistent? You know what I'm saying? That that concerns me, man. It makes me not trust his character. It makes me not like um trust him in a situation where shit get hot against Canelo. I feel like them lights going to get extremely bright on Jamel. And I think he going to be caught up in the moment like, "Yo, I'm really in the ring with Canelo." Because like I said, this man idolizes him. You know what I'm saying? Like, these dudes really be fanboys for Canelo. Grown-ass fighters that are within his, within or around his weight class, these dudes look up to him. So, being in there with him, just like how Caleb Plant was in there with Canelo. <laughs> I respect your skills. <laughs> I respect your skills. I'm not bad for 21 and no, ain't I? Whole time, Canelo like, eh, what, man, hold this fucking TKO, dog. Like, what the fuck? You see what I'm saying? Like, you would never hear Floyd being the person that he is ever say that he look up to Canelo or idolize him what have you you know why because he feel like he that dude he feel like he that dude why the fuck would he look up to a guy who's a part of his era and could possibly be competition you know what I'm saying so it really make me not trust Jamel Charlo's intentions going into this fight man it make me not uh and the fact that he has hella respect for Canelo, hopefully it don't translate into the ring, but it just seems like it's going in that direction, man. I really feel like it's going into that direction. But uh, I, I said all that, but I'm still rooting for Jamel to win. I want Jamel to get this. I feel like that'll set up. I think it'll be better for boxing because in all honesty, it'll set up a huge fight between him and Terrence Crawford when he get through with this Earl Spence rematch. But um, that's just my overall take on the situation. Y'all let me know how y'all, what y'all think about Jamel Charles' approach to this final press conference. Is Canelo locked in? Who you got winning, man? Leave your, all your thoughts and opinions below. We going live tonight, man, on the road to 1K as always. Shout out to the nation. Shout out to the mob. We in the building, man. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.